Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. I wanted to do a, I guess, a special extra video today. I don't know. We'll see see how the day goes. It's Fridays, which is always busy in our at our home, which many of you understand what, you know, getting ready for uh, tomorrow day is. We call it prep day, not prepping as in preparedness, you know, that kind of stuff, but just prepping for tomorrow because tomorrow's our day off our day of rest around here. So anyways, um, I wanted to make this video because there's a lot of things going on today. Uh, and, and it doesn't look great. Um, so I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff at you, a little bit different than normal. But also, I don't want people to, to, to be in fear and panic. And, and I'm starting to see some of that stuff today. Every time I kind of look online or I look at my emails, uh, it seems like it's picking up speed today. Uh, a lot of people are just, they're just worried. Uh, there's there is definite concrete things that are happening. I mean, that we know are happening. These aren't, these aren't conspiracies that maybe or maybe not. And then there are those conspiracies. Uh, and some of them are fact. You know, the word conspiracy doesn't mean that it's, it's fake. Um, there's definitely some some real things going on out there we may not know all about. And then there's probably some just rumors and uh, fake news kind of stuff. And I wanted to cover some things to kind of, in one way, show you kind of the severity of it. And then maybe some possible things that you might want to do. Because if things continue down the path that we're going on um, leading up to today, I mean, looking back over the last few weeks and few months and then the things that are happening today uh, it could be it could be a bumpy road for a while uh, it could even be the beginnings of a of a real major collapse so I want to get into that uh, again we're not talking about you know you need to go out and panic buy and you need to get into your bunkers and and you know all that kind of stuff but I have said for a while, it's time to start circling the wagons. It's time to start getting serious. It's time to um, make your preparations, whatever that is, whether it's buying more food, more, you know, precious metals and lead and brass and boomsticks or moving to uh, a new property. I, I've actually today been responding to several emails of people that are in the process of moving uh, because they, they've realized that it's almost too late, but they may still have time to, to get the heck out of Dodge. And so uh, these things that you need to be doing pretty quickly in your life, um, I, would, I would highly suggest uh, <laughs> that you start doing so. Um, I'm going to split the screen here, and we're going to talk about a few things. So uh, this is the stock market. Let me refresh this just to know for certain that we're getting the most accurate numbers from Yahoo Finance. Um, Dow is down 700, 700 points. That's that's not too good. Uh, it's been down, oh, there we go, a little over 700. Um, and it's been on a downward trend for a while. I was reading earlier, and I'm not a big market guy anymore. I used to follow it a lot, and now I don't. Uh, but we're down about 20% since January. Uh, but everything is down. Look at this. Crude oil is down. Gold, silver, I mean, 10-year bond. Uh, go all the way here. Cryptocurrencies are not doing too good. Uh, the Nikkei, it, it's, it's all, it's, we're, we're, we're seeing a major rapid downward trend. Some of this is because of um, Federal Reserve uh, Chairman Powell. Uh, basically made some indications that, um, well, what they're doing at raising the Fed, at, you know, raising the interest rates at the Fed aren't really working right now, but they're determined to keep doing it so that at some point it will work. Many uh, experts believe that it's not going to work, that the only reason it has worked in the past uh, when you know, inflation starts to go up and they raise interest rates to try to bring that inflation down is because we weren't in as much debt. Uh, we're at, you know, 30 plus trillion dollars in debt right now, more than it is really even feasible to wrap your head around. Um, 
and that raising interest rates is not going to work this time. Uh, to give you an idea of what the interest rates, I pulled up. This is Google saying what uh, home loan rates are currently. Uh, look at that, 7%. Uh, for 30, 6, 1 for a fixed, and 7 for an arm loan. Um, the, the cost of buying a house, not the house itself, but the interest rate for buying a house is pretty much doubled. Um, so it's, it's, not, it, it's, it's definitely going to prevent a lot of people from getting in their homes, and we're also going to see uh, rentals and rates continue to increase, and they've already been increasing. In some places, uh, well over 50% over last year, we've seen um, rental rates increase. I've talked about that a few times. This is only going to make it worse. Um, so if you, if you rent, uh, be aware of that. Uh, several other things happening. I, I want to show you, let's see, oh, that's not the, well, we'll go ahead and talk. This isn't the one I was going to bring up right away, but we'll go ahead and talk about this. So this is, and I, I apologize. I understand it's, it's not a super clear picture. I couldn't find a really high resolution uh, picture of this. These are, um, fertilizer plants all over Europe that have either shut down or have reduced their production. Uh, and most of it is, well, it's because of soaring gas prices. Uh, w which you need natural gas to produce this. But this also, most of these numbers just just happen, just happen to fall in line with the um, Great Reset, Agenda 2030, you know, zero carbon emissions. But look at this. So, so remember, while, we're, while I'm pointing th these things out, remember um, this year what has been talked about with fertilizer prices because fertilizer prices were up and so it caused hay prices to be up it caused yields to be down a little bit because fertilizer was really expensive and then now we have this uh, we've got Norway these green numbers these are in a thousand tons so this is 500,000 tons um, that um, Norway is cutting back on, which just happens to be the 35% uh, that, that the World Economic Forum Agenda 2030 plan. Netherlands, uh, 1.3 million, 1.7 million, and then another plant, I believe that's 550,000. Also, 35%. I don't know if you can see that very clear. I, I do apologize for it not being that clear. Uh, in the UK, uh, this one here, in ten, uh, temporarily halting production, so they're just completely stopping. Uh, Belgium, 35% reduction. Uh, and then another one, um, they have cur curtailed their capacity. France, 35% uh, reduction. Uh, Germany, 35% reduction. And then this one uh, here is shut down. Spain. Uh, halts its production at this at these two plants in Spain Italy 35% uh, reduction Wow, this is so amazing I mean what a coincidence uh, let's go back up here Lithuania uh, that we have several plants here in Lithuania each one of these green numbers represent a different plant um, and some of these are temporary, temporarily down. Uh, here's another one. I'm, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce these names. Suspended production. Uh, but you can see, again, these numbers. So when it says 1,300, that's in 100,000 tons or thousands of ton, thousand tons. So that's 1.3 million tons. That's a lot, folks. Uh, Poland, um, they're, they're ahead of the game. Okay. They're, 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 they're ahead because they're reducing it by 43%. Uh, Romania, it's shut down. Romania plant shut down. Slovakia stopped production. Hungary uh, suspended production. Uh, Bulgaria uh, down since August 1st. Plans on resuming um, October 1st, but we'll see. Um, because the gas prices aren't going to get any cheaper come October the 1st. Uh, Croatia shut down. Italy, oh, another 35%. Hmm, interesting. Lots of 35%. So, um, do you think that food costs are going to get cheaper next year? Do you think that farming costs are going to get cheaper next year? Uh, take all this in consideration, because this is Europe. Uh, Russia, we're pretty much not getting much when it comes to fertilizers from Russia. That's probably not going to change. I mean, it could. Probably not going to change by next spring. 
Um, and you might say, well, you know, American production's still going pretty strong. Well, so far, but you think America is going to just sit by and let all of this happen and not start sending, just like we're sending gas over there now. We're sending natural gas and propane and all kinds of stuff over to help Europe. Well, we're going to be sending fertilizers, I'm sure of that. I just, I just feel it in my bones. Uh, here's what Germany steps up preparations for gas rationing. So it, it's going to happen. Gas rationing uh, is going to happen in Germany. Uh, and as Germany falls, probably the rest of Europe will go with it. Um, a lot, I don't think a lot of people quite realize that Germany is a, is a, is a very major nation. Okay, it's, it's, I understand that they're dependent on Russia for their energy. They're dependent upon us for their protection. But in terms of the rest of the world kind of looking to uh, some of the top um, major nations, Germany's one of them. So if, if Germany starts really falling, which, man, there's so much talk right now of, of you know, Germany collapsing, or at least their economy, it's not going to be good. Let's go over here. Belgium. Uh, Belgium shuts down nuclear reactor for first time. Now, wait a minute. Uh, uh, Europe is uh, dealing with all the energy stuff, and here we are shutting down a nuclear reactor. If you go down here, it talks about uh, it's in compliance with Belgium law on nuclear phase-out, which is all the, the zero carbon emissions, which is crazy because n nuclear power is some of the cleanest there is. Despite the energy crisis in Europe, nuclear reactor in the town of Dole, North of the port city will close on Friday. So it, it, this tells you that these, these governments, they don't really care about the people that are going to freeze to death. They don't care about the people that aren't going to have the, the you know, lights to turn on. They don't care about the businesses that are having to shut down. I, I read one this morning. I don't have it available to show, but I read one this morning over in Europe. There's some bakery that's well known that's been open for 90 years is finally shutting its doors because they can't afford to stay open because of energy costs. Uh, and they'll probably just keep going. Remember, just a few days ago, we had a refinery fire in Toledo, Ohio, uh, one of the larger refineries in the country. Well, here's one in Argentina. Uh, this one kills three, unfortunately, and the one up in uh, Ohio injured a couple of people. Um, is this a coincidence? Maybe. Maybe it's a coincidence. I don't know. Um, but... Uh, there's been a lot of these fires of all kinds of important infrastructure that's happened uh, in the last year or so. Let's go down here and look at uh, earthquakes. I, I'm, I'm throwing it all at you today, folks. Um, and I don't know that I have a specific point, but we'll, look, we'll, we'll get somewhere. These are earthquakes in the last three days. I believe these are 3.0 and larger. And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, you know, you're looking at the Pacific uh, Rim, the the um, ring of fire uh, it does have a lot of earthquakes yeah it does there's there's earthquakes here pretty much every day but folks we, we've got some serious activity here I mean there it, I'm not the earthquake expert so certainly don't don't just listen to what I say I, I would recommend Dutch sense uh, his YouTube channel that guy is is way way above anything of my knowledge but of course Mexico there's been several uh, down there in Mexico recently you all know about that uh, California has been active they're smaller but it's definitely been active Alaska and then look at look at this all this Pacific coastline over here on the the Western Pacific there's been a lot of stuff going on is this just another little bit of a cycle that this is going to happen in days or weeks it's going to calm down or is this something bigger uh, this is part and the reason why i'm showing you the earthquakes this is part of another of these possible theories out there that um, these kinds of activities uh, earth's changing poles and all that kind of stuff is drastic is, is, is increasing to the point that uh, we could start seeing some major impact on our lives soon i'm not saying that's the case um i do believe that we are in a um a cycle of major earth changes uh, th there's just too much evidence for me to not believe that uh, how bad will it be i can't tell you um, but i just wanted to point this out uh some other things whoops getting a little crazy there some other things 
that um, just, I don't know, wanted to mention. A um, couple of, well, here, let me go back to the split screen. This is kind of impromptu, so I apologize for the non-professional video. I brought this up. Uh, this is uh, a place you can buy uh, silver, and I'm not promoting th this business for, per se, but notice down here, I put this in the cart just to give you an example. One week shipping delay on this item. This They just started doing this a few days ago. Um, and I know that because this is one of the companies that I, I buy silver from occasionally. And they just started doing this. Um, I know of a couple of other places that are, they're saying they're not like out of silver and gold, but they've gotten major increases in purchasing it. So uh, they're bogged down with orders. Um, You've heard me talk about UPMA, the United uh, Precious Metals Association. Uh, they also do gold and silver investments and, and purchases. And I got a report from them that in the last 48 hours or so, uh, they have been absolutely inundated with people um, trying to purchase and invest money in sw switching it to gold and silver. And part of it's because of, well, let's go back right here. Look at this. Silver's down to 1879. Gold is 1649.8. Um, look at the how much it's down. This is a good time to buy. I mean, it's because the dollar is up, but that's not always a good thing when the dollar makes a, a, a huge spike. Um, but th that's why a lot of this is happening, and it could be a good time to buy. Um, again, I'm not promoting these businesses but i was looking around and i thought well a secure place to buy now that the the one i showed you here i usually buy from them and i'll admit i have an affiliate account with them and i don't with this company but um they have right now if you're interested in just silver you don't care what condition it's in you don't care how dirty it is because as you can see this is some of these this is some dirty stuff uh, but it's guaranteed 90 percent silver this here is a 10 uh, face value and these are coals for 182 dollars it's probably slightly different because i haven't refreshed this let's see if it's changed any at all yep see it went down a little bit so you'd save you you know 21 cents i believe that's what it was um, but if you notice um, these this the poor quality here uh, you're looking at only $6.99 per ounce over spot. And it's because they're really poor quality. But if you're purchasing for the reasons that I purchase, I don't care what quality is. I'm just looking for the silver. And so this is a possibility for you to, to purchase. Um, another thing that you might be interested in, and again, I'm not promoting this business, and there may be other out there that's cheaper, but I was just playing around online. And this is, I'll go to their main, this is this. I'll try not to use the words. You guys can figure out what it is. <laughs> um, I have no affiliation whatsoever with this um, with this company. I have purchased from them. I'm not an affiliate, but I have purchased. And I just wanted to throw this out there um, for the pricing. Just to give you an idea, if you're also wanting to stock up on these kind of metals, you've got 500 rounds and a free ammo can for 120. Uh, this is remanufactured stuff, but hey. Uh, if you're wanting to just do some target shooting, that's probably a pretty good price. Here's some uh, 300 rounds ammo can, and this is the 556 for $137. Uh, so as you can see, if you're interested in stocking up on this kind of metal, um, right now with all the stuff going on, it might be a good idea. Um, and the only reason I brought that up is because I am getting a lot of people asking about that kind of stuff. So because... People are asking about it. I'm going to do a real quick try to little thing. So these are the, the 556, and this is the 9mm, and these are might be um, metals that you want to invest in right now, and that's why I showed that. I, I do get a lot of people asking about silver, and I'm not going to give you any advice whatsoever because I'm not an expert, but I'm going to tell you what I do. I purchase, uh, when I purchase silver, I purchase only U.S. minted for the most part, okay? I do have some, you know, like bars, but for the most part, I purchase, I'm about to drop it, I don't know why, slipping out of my hand, I purchase U.S. minted silver coins. These are pre-1965, and as you can see, they're, they're, not, they're not in collector uh, condition. 
Do you see that? They're worn and everything. Um, but the reason why I get them is because usually the, the overspot price on what's called junk or constitutional silver is less than if you buy it uh, in a bar. And the reason why I like this is because this is, this is actual still legal money, okay? Whereas a silver bar, it, it, it's technically uh, not U.S. It's not U.S. minted. So this is still legal money. Um, you know, you can take this and purchase stuff with it. And uh, it also, not that you'd want to because you'd only get the 50 cent because it's a 50 cent piece. But the point is, is it's still legal money. And um, it, uh, it's, it's much easier to identify and, and know that, there's, that that's, this is what it is. You know, if you give someone a, a silver bar and they're like, I don't know if that's real or not. I mean, the surface, it may be plated. I mean, there are ways to test it. Another way you can buy stuff, I don't buy as much of this, mostly because the markup is just too much for it. But this is a, an, a, an American Eagle. Um, silver this is pure silver that other stuff was 90% silver I do not buy anything that's any kind of collector value I try to buy things that's you know like this one if you look at it close it's a little it's got a few little scuffy marks on it I'm trying to get it in an angle that it's not reflecting um, that's uh, one way that you can purchase uh, as far as gold if a lot of people say man I'd love to purchase gold but I don't have $1,600 to or $1,800 to buy an ounce of it you can purchase things like this these are gold uh, backs, oh, and they're, it's an actual legal currency. These are in, from Utah. These are legal currencies in Utah, okay? And then here are some $1. I know this video is going longer than normal, but maybe you'll like it. These are $1 notes, uh, and these are from Nevada because there are a few states that have gold and silver, and you say, man, those are shiny. Uh, it's because they're, it's a little bit of gold in between like some type of polypropylene kind of process anyways so these are actual real gold it's not just color uh, this is each one of these one dollar notes are or one notes are one thousandth of an ounce of gold uh, the fives are one two hundredth of an ounce of gold and they go up from there they have ten dollar twenty five fifty and a hundred dollar and each one obviously has more gold uh, these are legal tender in states in some states um, and, and can be used there are businesses that accept these and you can purchase these for not too much over spot so you know this is a dollar note but it doesn't cost a dollar to buy it it costs about three dollars to buy it um, and but anyways so those are some options um, I'm not saying to go out and buy all this stuff today but I am saying that um, things are getting crazy and the markets aren't looking good and there's a lot of people online that are a little concerned that it's possible that some of these things that's been talked about for the last couple of weeks or so because we're this is this is September 23rd Tomorrow's 24th, 25th, 26th, and then we're just a few days from the 30th, which the 30th is the day that the Vatican is supposed to have all their gold returned to the Vatican. Uh, so there's a lot of things going on over the next week, and maybe there's nothing going on over the next week. What we do know is the stock market is doing really bad, uh, and uh, it's, it would be a good time to possibly stock up on these other things if you're able to. So I just thought I would throw all that at you. It's probably... A lot and maybe some of you already knew it and maybe some of you don't care but um, it, there's just there's just some things happening and I think we should be aware of it and not be afraid uh, no fear because uh, we're prepped physically mentally and hopefully most of you are prepped spiritually also uh, so whatever comes at us we are ready folks get your houses in order thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video